State lawmaker who was attacked online for gutting a California net neutrality bill is now supporting a new push for even stronger protections. KPIX 5's Julie Watts has the details. And I want to publicly thank uh, Miguel Santiago. Today they stood in unity introducing a landmark net neutrality bill. Just two weeks after net neutrality advocates used Assemblyman Miguel Santiago's own Twitter feed against him, accusing Santiago of siding with the telecom industry and gutting Senator Scott Weiner's bill without letting him defend it. I'd like to vote on it now. But without, without having a hearing, Mr. Chairman? One second. We would still have a hearing. Well, but you're voting before, you were entitled to a Mr. hearing Weiner, please, and you're voting please. before the hearing even happens? How is that appropriate? Eight to zero, the motion passes. The activist group Credo posted excerpts from the hearing on Twitter. What uh, the committee just did was outrageous. Uh, the amendments that the committee just adopted eviscerate the bill. It's no longer a real net neutrality bill. Following a barrage of attacks on social media, some even targeting his wife and kids, today Santiago we stood in support of net neutrality and a resurrected bill. The strongest net neutrality bill in the nation. You may remember in December, the FCC repealed Obama-era net neutrality regulations. Critics worry internet providers like Comcast and Verizon could now charge tech giants like Netflix and Google to guarantee their services are seen in homes across the country while relegating the smaller websites that can't afford to pay to the proverbial internet slow lane, making people less likely to use their sites. The FCC commissioner insists consumers will be protected. We've empowered the Federal Trade Commission to take targeted action against any bad apple in the Internet economy. Still, more than 20 states are suing the FCC for cutting the net neutrality rules. Now, California is going one giant step further, introducing legislation that would essentially reinstate net neutrality rules in the Golden State. This is going to be a fight. The CTIA, which represents the wireless industry, tells us SB 822 is flawed and a consumer unfriendly approach. While the California Cable and Telecommunications Association says it is unlawful, discriminatory, and unnecessary, adding state-level policies regulating the Internet are preempted by federal regulations. They fight hard, uh, they are effective, and we're confident that they are going to pose this strongly until the end. Now, companies generally don't create one set of rules for California and another for the rest of the country, so legislation here could ultimately lead to net neutrality nationwide. We should know in Washington, Democrats are pushing for federal legislation to reverse the FCC's rollback, but the Republican-led House has yet to bring that up for a vote. That could take some time. Yeah. Certainly yeah. could, and if frankly, ever. even if they got this legislation through mm -hmm. here, I suspect there will be some uh, legal battles to come, mm -hmm. so I don't Absolutely. think that uh, simply passing legislation will be the end of it. Okay.